Bianca Ojuku has made headlines after a shocking confrontation between her and the former first lady of Anambra state, Ebili Obiano, during the swearing-in ceremony of Charles Oludo as the new governor of the southeastern state. <laughs> The incident which took place on March 17, 2022, got people praising and commending her. It's no secret that there is no love lost between the 53-year-old widow of the late Biafran president, Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku, and the Obianos. They reportedly fell out in 2014, shortly after Willy Obiano was sworn in as governor of Anambra state over what Bianca termed disrespect to her late husband. However, despite their differences, Bianca had managed to keep her cool until this fateful event when Ebili Obiano decided to push her luck too far. According to reports, the outgoing first lady came late to the swearing-in ceremony where Bianca and other dignitaries were already in attendance. On sighting the ex-beauty queen, she walked majestically to her seat and confronted her about attending the event while calling her the B-word. In return, a clearly unruffled and even so elegant Bianca landed her a dirty slap. Obiano's wife immediately broke the record as the first outgoing first lady to receive an outgoing slap. As if that wasn't enough, her husband, the former governor, got arrested by the EFCC while on their way out of the country to the United States the same day after handing over. Who is Bianca Ojuku and what is the real reason why she slapped the outgoing governor's wife? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Just like Agbani Darego, Bianca Ojuku is a beauty icon that needs no introduction among many Nigerians. Over the years, she has gained prominence for her beauty, style, elegance and most recently, a contribution to politics and diplomacy. But is that all there is to know about her? Definitely not. Bianca Odinachuku Ojuku Ni Ono was born in Ungwa Enugun State as the sixth child of her parents in August 5, 1968. Her father, Christian Ono, was a successful lawyer and a former governor of Anambra State. She had most of her education outside Nigeria, attending Ackworth School, Pontefract, St. Andrews College, Cambridge, before proceeding to the University of Buckingham to study law, economics and politics. Due to some reasons, she was forced to move back home to complete her university education in Unsuka at the University of Nigeria, where she focused on law. She later graduated as a lawyer and joined a family law firm. But her law practice was brief as she quit to start a cosmetic business, Bianca Blend, and an interior decorating outfit, Mirabella. Years after, she founded the non-governmental organization, Hope House Trust. Like a beautiful man in a prime, Bianca contested in numerous pageants, including the 1988 Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria and Miss Africa pageant, which she won. In 2011, she was appointed as the special advisor to Good Luck Jonathan on diaspora affairs. In 2012, she was appointed as the country's ambassador to Ghana and later to Spain. Since 2016, she has served as the permanent representative to the United Nations World Tourism Organization. Bianca, however, gained a most popularity due to her controversial romantic relationship with the late president of Biafra, Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku. They reportedly started dating in 1989. At the time, Ojuku was a political affiliate of her father and over 30 years older than her. This caused quite a stir nationwide and even began once after they tied the knot in 1994. Regardless of the controversy, reports have it that Bianca loved Ojuku and worshipped the very floor he walked on. Sadly, the life of her love and her hero was cut short in 2011, leaving her most of his assets. Ojuku, who indeed Igbo crowned a hero, founded the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abga Party, long before its demise. The party has managed to maintain power in the Anambra state. Following his passing on, the party, which Bianca is a member of the Board of Trustees, holds a commemoration ceremony for him yearly. Sadly, once Willy Obiano took over the governorship seat from Peter Obi in 2014, he discontinued the yearly commemoration ceremony of the party's founder. 
This resulted in a massive disaffection between Ojuku's widow, Bianca, Willio Biano and his wife, Ebili, who grew popular in no time for slapping people, including the deputy governor. In 2019, Obiano removed the picture of Ojuku from the Afghan uniforms and replaced it with his picture to drive home his point that their founder is irrelevant. In 2020, Bianca called Obiano a banker who knows nothing about politics. At the time, many party members were decamping to other political parties in the state. In 2021, the 53-year-old ex-beauty queen began to snub the party event, including the party's campaign inauguration ceremony for Charles Soludo's governorship aspirations. When asked why she snubbed the party, she decried the level of opportunism, hypocrisy and disrespect towards her late husband as the reason. She noted that Obiano had called her husband a dead man who was no longer relevant in the party. She asked why she has to permit him to keep trampling on her late husband's legacy who put his soul into the party, noting Ojuku shouldn't be a light switch to be turned on for the party campaign and turned off once the election is won. Amidst all this disrespect towards her late husband, Bianca managed to keep her distance from the Obianos, down to the day the latest governor of Anambra state, Charles Soludo, under Abga was sworn in. Like most dignitaries in Anambra, Bianca was invited to the swearing-in ceremony of Soludo on March 17, 2022. The ceremony was ongoing smoothly until after the new governor took his oath of office, as it was just around this time Obiano's wife, Ebili, joined the event. Ebili was surprised to see Bianca and walked a distance to where she was seated as if to greet her. Unknown to many, she planned to confront Ojuku's widow. She reportedly said, Bianca, so you are here. I thought you said you will never attend any Abga event again. And then called her a witch, although some people said she called the elegant Bianca a B-I-T-C-H. You all know that saying, don't taunt people and expect roses and a bottle of champagne. Well, Bianca got up and reportedly gave the outgoing first lady a farewell slap and then pulled a wig. They were later separated and Bianca went back to sit like nothing happened while Ebele tried to straighten her wig and clothes but still managed to call Bianca an Ashawo. She was later whisked away by her husband and his entourage while the ceremony continued. Bianca left the event, smiling and looking elegant like nothing had happened earlier. After the incident went viral, many social media users agreed that Willie Obiano was a bad boy and his wife deserved the slap very much. As if the Obianos haven't had enough for a day, around 8.30 pm precisely, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission arrested the former Anambra state governor at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, while on their way out of the country to Houston, Texas, United States with his family. Announcing the arrest publicly, they said the former governor has been on the commission's watch list for some time now. What do you think about the drama between Bianca Ujuku and Ebele Obiano? Do you think Ebele got what she deserved? Do you think Bianca Ujuku wasn't very ladylike? Are you surprised the EFCC was waiting and successfully arrested a former Anambra state governor? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.